this video, we're going to talk about setting up the funnel. What that is, is the lead funnel. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a free gift that we're going to give away and we're going to put on a landing page. So we're sending all of the traffic that comes to our site to a landing page first. On there, we're going to offer them a free ebook or whatever it is you want to offer. And they will sign in to get that ebook and then we will start promoting the new product to them. Okay, now if you know how to write articles about the product that you chose, it's something you're interested in, you can go ahead and write your own. However, if not, a good thing to do would be to go and find something with giveaway rights that you can use or some PLR products that you can put a, a cookbook together. So let's uh, do fat loss PLR. Okay, so there's something from JVZ there. You can go through and find something that looks like it might fit the bill. And then you can take the, that stuff, you can repackage it, rewrite it if you want, or just take it right like it is and offer it as a free gift to get the opt-in. Okay, so I got Fat Laws Cooking, which is more appropriate for our product that we're going to be using here. Now, the other thing you can do is go to easy articles okay and then you can do a search within here so let's say fat loss cooking okay and then it'll bring up a bunch of articles and you can go through these articles and do some research so find some articles that are on target and see what they have to say and then in your own words, you can rewrite the content and get, say, five articles. You're going to need a, at least a five-page ebook. So that's what your first thing you're going to do is you're going to create your giveaway. Okay, now within the giveaway, you're going to want to have a link back to the affiliate product on the bottom of each page. Okay, so that'll give you some extra traffic to that page as well. Okay, so that's what we're going to do now. I'm just going to put together a quick one from some of these articles, and then I'm going to show you how you can make a quick e-cover. Of course, because we're going to want to have a decent looking e-cover for our e-book. Okay, so I'm going to just create a quick e-cover, and I'm going to go to Pixabay here, and I'm just going to go uh, cooking. And I'm going to say uh, just look for something that's on target here. Okay, and then I'm just going to grab an image out of here that looks like it might do the trick. Okay, so I'm going to use this pot here. Okay, so the site I'm on is called Pixabay. And I'm going to bring down a small image. So just download and save. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open this up in a program called paint.net. You can download paint.net for free. Just do a search for it on the web. So I'll do open with. And then we want paint.net okay so this is coming in as a transparent image so I'm going to actually create a new image here and then I'm going to import that as a layer so I'll do layer and import from file okay and then I'll bring in this All right, so let's just move this across a little bit here. Now I'm going to select this. And I'll do crop to selection. So you do image, crop to selection. I'm going through this kind of fast because this isn't really 
supposed to be a lesson on creating a neat cover, but I'm just doing one real quick here. So now what we're going to do is go to Layer and add a new layer. We're going to go over here to the Text tool on the left. Okay, and then up here, we'll choose a font. So let's go and Impact. Okay, now this is not going to be a good image because I'm just rushing through this to show you how to do it. But I just want to give you an idea. And you can, of course, take your time and create a better image. Okay, so I'm going to say... Um, cooking for quick fat loss. Okay, now let's go up top here and let's change this to make it bigger. Okay, so just like that. Now, I'm just going to do a save as here. And I'm going to just save it as a PNG. And I'm just going to call it image. And click OK. And flatten. OK, so we have the first part done. The next thing we're going to do is make an e-cover out of it. So what we're going to do now is go to another site. It's called 3d-pack.com. And then we're going to browse for our image here. Make sure you're on book. OK, so we're going to bring in this image. And then, we're again, for the back, we'll choose the same thing. We're not going to see it anyway. And for the side, we're going to the spine, we're going to choose the same thing and create. Okay, so here it is. Now we can take our mouse and move it around. Okay, so this is a really ugly image, but you get the idea. Should have used something in color. Okay, anyway, I'm just going to go with it. So I will just download this as a PNG now. And we'll save. And I'm just going to call it cover. Okay, so do a better job than that. That one's really ugly. <laughs> but you get the idea how you can do it quite easily. Okay, so we have our image now. Okay, so a couple more things I want to show you here. To create your ebook, you can get a free program called OpenOffice at openoffice.org. In there you have OpenOffice, right? And it's a word processor. Of course, it's free. And then what you can do is put your ebook together. So I got a couple of articles in here. I put this lousy image in here. I got the articles in here. And then at the bottom here, this is my affiliate link at the bottom of each article. Okay, so create about a five-page one of those. Now, what you want to do after you've saved it, it'll save as an ODT file. And then what you want to do is go export as PDF and export. And this will be the copy that you give away. Okay, so that's how easy it is to make this. Now, I've also created for you a squeeze page that you can use. Okay, so I included this squeeze page. And of course, what you want to do is change the headline and then give some subheadlines here. This is where your form code and the description goes for the opt-in and any other down here, and then the all rights reserved in your name or your domain name here. You can also put your image in over here if you like. Okay, so there's a squeeze page template for you. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to have a domain name and hosting so that we can host our squeeze page. So we'll go over that real quick now. Okay, so you need a domain name, and the domain name is what points to your site. So people can just type in your domain name and go to your site or you point the traffic of your domain name and it goes to your site which is going to be the squeeze page now you can 
create a different domain name for every product, or you could do one for every market, for instance, weight loss, and then you could do subdomains, which would be diet weight diet dot weight loss dot com or you could do weight loss dot com slash diet which is a subfolder so you could put all of them in one domain if you want to do that so do the whichever way you like if you're on a budget you could just do one domain for each market if you can afford to have one domain for each product it's better to do that so let's go have a look at our product here so it's fat loss cooking or fat loss cookbook so you can see if you can find something like that. That loss cookbook. Okay, and you'll see that I'm on GoDaddy here, but you can use any registrar you want, Namecheap or whatever it is. Okay, so it's bringing up some, we have a .info domain, and we could get that for $2.99 right now. We have some other ones here, .co, we could also get for $2.99. Okay, so just go through and find one that you like, and then you can just go through and register the domain. Okay, and you can get hosting right when you register your domain if you want, or you can get it through another provider and you just need to set your name servers on your domain and they will send you instructions on how to do that. Okay, so that's what you're gonna need to do. You're gonna need somewhere to upload to. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we're going to work on our squeeze page now that we have our domain and hosting. I'm just gonna use one I already have, but you would go and get your domain name and hosting so you're all ready for your squeeze page. All right, in the next video, we're going to go over setting up our squeeze page. And